welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most distinctive lightsabers in the Star Wars franchise. We'll be sticking to current canon, so Maris Brood's twin Tonfa, as cool as they are, will be saved for another day. Oh, we're not crazy. <laughs> We've just embraced the power of the dark side. Number 10. Purple Lightsaber, Mace Windu. Master Windu, how pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. Jedi Master Mace Windu's aggressive Form 7 fighting style makes him a fierce opponent in combat. His purple lightsaber also stands out. It operates like any other, so it ranks lower on our list. Yet its debut in the prequel films should be recognized as one of the earlier instances of lightsaber deviation. <laughs> The color was actually requested by actor Samuel L. Jackson, as he wanted to be able to spot himself during the Battle of Geonosis in Attack of the Clones. We've seen a lot of lightsaber variations over the years, but this purple blade was certainly unique for its time. You are under arrest, my lord. Number 9. Wooden Lightsaber, Gunji. It's only fitting that this Wookiee Padawan has a distinct weapon, as droid Professor Huang points out. A Wookiee? Rare you are to the Jedi. Proud your people must be. Unique, just as your lightsaber will be. After obtaining his kyber crystal on Ilum, Gunji issued the traditional metals that Jedi typically use in lightsaber construction. Instead, he selected wood from the Brylark tree. is incredibly durable, the only kind that's as resilient as metal. And it seemed to serve Gunji well. In fact, the resourceful Padawan managed to survive Order 66 and continued fighting the good fight against the Empire. Number 8. Shoto Lightsaber, Master Yoda <laughs> Judge a lightsaber by its size do not. Lightsabers come in many different shapes and sizes, such as the Shoto lightsaber favored by Jedi on the shorter side. The compact hilt and blade made it perfect for Master Yoda. It's so powerful you are. Why leave? And he used it with formidable skill against opponents such as Count Dooku and even Darth Sidious. It's a versatile weapon, suitable for dexterous attack patterns as well as defense. It can also be used by dual wielders as a second blade. Ahsoka Tano adopted a Shoto lightsaber to great effect during the Clone Wars, continuing to use it in the aftermath of the Empire's fall. Number 7. Lightsaber Blaster, Ezra Bridger I thought I'd let you check it out first. Well, it's different, but that seems about right for you. Go for it. A traditional lightsaber is not a projectile weapon, but that doesn't mean it can't be. Given that Ezra Bridger's mentor, Kanan Jarrus, also had a unique two-piece lightsaber, it's perhaps no surprise that the Padawan came up with his own distinct design. Hey, just so you know, when I escape, I won't hurt any of you. Yeah, that's great, kid. I feel real safe. You shouldn't. Ezra employed a lightsaber blaster hybrid built out of spare parts that featured an adjustable blade and blaster mode. As Ezra was an outlaw from the Empire, the design made his lightsaber a less recognizable weapon and gave him an edge in combat, especially against multiple foes or more seasoned duelists. Like Kanan said, it's never a fair fight. Such hybrid weapons were not completely unknown to the Jedi. Chief Librarian Jocasta Nu used a lightsaber rifle against Darth Vader during the Great Jedi Purge. Number 6. Crossguard Lightsaber, Kylo Ren We're not done yet. The conflict or chaos that rages in the heart of Ben Solo or Kylo Ren is reflected in his crossguard lightsaber. For starters, some of the wiring is exposed, running along the outside of the hilt, symbolizing Ren's internal turmoil. The vents are there to divert the dangerous extra heat, as the kyber crystal inside cracked when Ren bled it. There's a whole lot of emotional intensity and character depth captured by the design. It's actually based on an ancient variant used by both Jedi and Sith, dating back thousands of years. Look, a lightsaber. A and another. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was a battlefield. Number five, Split Saber, Asajj Ventress. Wait. A true survivor, Asajj Ventress has had to switch allegiances and livelihoods more than once, adapting to every new situation. She's been a night sister, a dark Jedi, and a bounty hunter. Do you think you'll still be able to call on the Force after I've separated your head from your body? Even with my vision clouded, I recognize the fighting style of Count Dooku. Her weapons are equally versatile. A master of Jarkai, she used two sabers with curved hilts, which could also be attached into a double-bladed lightsaber. Where is Skywalker? However, she generally preferred to enter the fray with sabers blazing in each hand. As a result, her fierce and unpredictable fighting style gains a whole other level of danger. Another split saber user was Keeve Trennis, a Jedi during the High Republic era. Number 4. Light Whip, Vernestra Rowe The Acolyte has been met with a mixed reception, as has this unusual lightsaber. But it's not actually the first time we've seen a light whip in the Star Wars universe. The now Legends character Lumaya wielded one in the Marvel Comics series back in the 1980s. Jedi Vernestra Rowe also debuted her light whip on the page rather than the screen in the canon novel The High Republic, A Test of Courage. However, it's a more versatile weapon than Lumaya's that can also be used as a standard lightsaber. Like it or not, it's most definitely distinct. Number 3. White Lightsabers – Ahsoka Tano this one-time Jedi Padawan has always had a unique fighting style. Ahsoka favored a reverse grip and became a skilled practitioner of Jarkai, wielding a second shorter Shoto blade, often for deflection or disarmament. Ahsoka, now! Thanks, buddy. While her standard blade was originally green and her Shoto blade yellowish green, both became blue after Anakin's tinkering. She reappeared after Order 66 with white blades, a fitting symbol of her status as neither Jedi nor Sith. The color comes from an Imperial Inquisitor's kyber crystals that she purified of the dark side. Her new hilts are also curved, recalling samurai swords. Bring all of these together, and you have a visually stunning lightsaber style for an equally captivating character. Don't defeat me. Perhaps. I don't have to. Number 2. Double-bladed lightsaber, Darth Maul. Nowadays, lightsaber variants are quite commonplace. However, that was not the case back when 1999's The Phantom Menace came out. Mind you, saber staffs had appeared earlier in Legends material, but older Star Wars fans will remember how we all lost our minds when Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber was revealed. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. And you know what? It still looks dope today! It was the ingenuity of Maul's saber that allowed him to defeat a Jedi Master as seasoned as Qui-Gon Jinn. We've since seen new spins on the design, such as the Jedi Temple Guard's lightsaber pikes and the Inquisitor's double-bladed spinning lightsaber. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Curved Hilt Lightsaber, Count Dooku, an elegant weapon that complements Dooku's dueling style. You disappoint me. Kane Saber, Terra Sinube, useful as more than just a weapon. Hinged double bladed lightsaber, Ray, a stealthy switchblade seen in a vision. Don't be afraid of who you are. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dark Saber, Tar Vizsla. The history of this lightsaber harkens back to 1050 BBY, or before the Battle of Yavin. Legend tells that it was created over a thousand years ago by Tar Vizsla. 
It was forged by the Mandalorian Tar Vizsla, the first of his kind to join the Jedi Order. As a result, the Darksaber holds incredible significance for the Mandalorian people. This lightsaber was stolen from your Jedi Temple by my ancestors during the fall of the Old Republic. Since then, many Jedi have died upon its blade. Its Beskar construction makes the weapon resilient, while its shorter-edged blade brings it closer to a traditional sword. It also has a unique sound, higher pitched than other lightsabers. Since it was forged, the Black Blade has had a number of fearsome wielders, including Pre Vizsla, Maul, Sabine Wren, Bo-Katan Kryze, Moff Gideon, and Din Djarin. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. <laughs> It remains one of a kind. What's your all-time favorite lightsaber? Let us know in the comments. Elegant weapon for a more civilized day. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.